What's going on everyone? Today I will be doing another Enderman tier 3 guide because the last one was made like six months ago and a few change and a few changes in the meta have happened. So I just want to show you it really quick. I'm gonna be honest, it's even more easy than back then. So I'm just gonna show you the setup. Full final destination, of course, on ancient, hot potato book, and you only need uh, growth protection and rejuve. I don't think there's Mine has like only 11k kills, but if you're having difficulties, you can of course just get 25k kills and it should be way easier. And if you're uh, very good at the game, you can probably get away with less kills. So as for the sword, we're gonna use Vorpil Katana because it was buffed alongside every other Katana. And it does really good damage. I just put a few things on it. Critical 6, um, Wither's pretty good, Hot Potato Books. You know the drill, just putting everything you got on it, but you don't need to spend that much. So the next thing which can be really helpful is a soul whip, you don't need it, but I've got one with a ruby scroll and siphon, so it's really good for healing a bit up while you're doing the hits phase and letting your summons do it, to be more precise. I'm also using it for dungeons, so I just got one. Then your ask of the end or void, you're just always gonna have it. Then you get your mana flux. I think you can get away with a Radiant, but at this point of the game, you should be having a Mana Flux. Um, then you're gonna want a Wand of Atonement. I guess um, you can get away with a Wand of... I don't know what's it called. A Wand of Resurrection. Or Restoration. I think you can maybe get away using that, but the Wand is gonna help you a decent bit. Then you're gonna get your summons. So what I'm using are tank zombies, but I've heard that there's something like Wither Scepters or something that's really good. I don't know if they're good. I'm just using my tank zombies because they are in here and they are working. Then I've got a gloom look. You don't need this. I use this very rarely to be perfectly honest. But if you have one, use it. If you don't have one, you don't you don't need it. And then your zombie sword. This one you're actually gonna use. A few times because it's it's just a good thing to have and you're gonna want it and then of course your Maddox phone or Abby phone or something and for a pet I'm using a wolf to spawn it if you have enderman even better go for that I just have a purple one and that's bad and for the boss itself I am using actually a blue whale because I am throwing a bit and with this one it's easier but if you're better you can of course just go for any damage pet but this should be very good and I think you can use an Enderman pet because it gives you like um, less damage from ant mobs. Yeah, as you can see right there, 30% less damage. So Enderman should also work and it gives you a bit of crit damage. So you will be dealing a bit more damage. So you can use it if you have it. I don't know. I'm using a blue whale with a shaman on. And let's just go, I'd say. So now when we are down here, I've already got most of the kills. I think I just need like two or three. Let's just spawn it here because here's a good place to do it. And right when you spawn it, you're gonna place your mana flux and then use your necromancer sword for the uh, summons. And maybe you can get a soul wolf of mana steel if you're struggling with mana. That's also a good option. So mana flux, then let those spawn. They're gonna do the hits phase very very quick. And then use your wand, and then just go in milling it. And this is just about the boss. So, of course, when it throws skulls or anything like that, look at the skulls, get the beacons, otherwise you're gonna die without the beacons. And as you can see, when it's hits face, oh whoops, I've accidentally used the grimoire. So when it's hits face, you absolutely need to run away from it. It will shred you otherwise. Just let your uh, summons do the job for you. And I think my mana flux just is gone. Also you can use the mod so it will highlight the beacons because they're sometimes kind of difficult to see but you should be able to get it without any mods but I think at this point everyone is using skyblock mods. And get the summons out. Let them do the job for you. And just wait a bit so you have enough mana for a new mana flux. Then you can just 
go right in DPSing again. Boss for a skull, can't see it. Boss holding a beacon and it's lagging, but we still got it. So this is pretty much it. It isn't really difficult anymore because even I can do it and I'm like really bad at the game, even though I'm playing like for ages, <laughs> nearly four years, but bro, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm bad at the game, so if I can do it, I'm pretty 100% sure you can do it. Um, yeah, just don't forget putting a siphon on this thing because that will do a big difference in healing. Always put your mana flux down and also use your wand and then you should be able to survive it. I mean, if it's really difficult surviving, you can technically also use a pigment sword because it gives you like 300 defense or something and then it should be a bit easier. And yeah, that's like really anything to say about it. It's pretty easy nowadays um, and I can't think about anything else to say. Also a uh, sneak because of the ability you will have more ferocity and deal more damage and when it hits face don't go and let, let your summons do it because otherwise it will just shred you as you can see right there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you have any questions or I forgot to mention anything please let me down, uh, know down in the comments but I think this is most you can say about it and if you want a guide about another slayer maybe tier 2 maybe I don't know, zombie slayer or something, I can of course also do that, so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye guys!